For almost two billion years, life on Earth stayed astonishingly simple. Bacteria and archaea dominated the planet, filling every ocean, every rock surface, and every hydrothermal vent. Yet in all that time, not a single complex cell emerged. Then, suddenly, around two billion years ago, eukaryotes appeared, carrying mitochondria, internal membranes, complex cytoskeletons, and genomes hundreds of times larger than anything that existed before. Why did this transformation come so late? The first barrier was energy. Prokaryotes generate ATP only across their outer membrane. As they grow larger, their surface area cannot keep up with the energy needed to run a bigger genome. This creates a strict energy per gene ceiling. For nearly half of Earth's history, that limit made complex cells mathematically impossible. The breakthrough came only when one archaeal cell swallowed a bacterium that refused to die. This protomitochondrion outsourced ATP production to internal organelles, multiplying membrane surface area inside the cell and breaking the ancient energy barrier. But even this symbiosis required extremely rare conditions, a host archaean flexible enough to engulf another cell, and a bacterial partner capable of stable integration instead of digestion. These lineages were astonishingly scarce. The second barrier was oxygen. Early Earth's oceans were rich in iron and sulfur, which consumed free oxygen as soon as photosynthesis released it. Only after hundreds of millions of years of slow geochemical change did oxygen finally accumulate to levels that could support high-yield aerobic respiration. Without that oxygen surge, mitochondria could not power the leap to genomic and structural complexity. The third barrier was genome coordination. Complex cells require cytoskeletons, vesicle trafficking, chromosomes with linear ends, mitosis, and elaborate gene regulation. Each innovation depends on several others. Evolution could not build them step by step unless the energy surplus from mitochondria was already available. This created a long evolutionary lock, nothing could begin until everything could begin. Once these three constraints aligned energy from mitochondria, oxygen-rich oceans, and the genomic space to innovate, eukaryotes finally exploded. And when they did, they transformed the planet, giving rise to algae, fungi, plants, and animals. For two billion years complexity was impossible. Then, in a single evolutionary moment, the door opened and life rushed through it.